I wanted to do something really suspenseful to be like, oh, guess what's happening? But you kind of already know what's happening. It's the freaking world championships in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Arkansas, and I am back, ladies and gentlemen, mostly middle-aged gentlemen. And by back, I mean they decided to let me race world championships, probably because they felt bad. Uh, <laughs> so obviously I started at the start line, going down the start straight, noticed all the great sponsors, including Walmart on the sides. Uh, our first feature is transitioning from pavement to really sad sod, and then a weird puddle, and then a sloping right-hand turn. Again, apparently this was a really expensive sod, and we ruined it in our World Cup that we did here. So we do a, le- a right-hand turn, and then a pretty sharp, reduced radius left-hand turn, because who doesn't want to do that with a packed field in the start straight? And by packed field, I mean like 30 people per race or less. It's not going to be very busy. So after, after the start straight, and we do those turns, we're all still grouped together. And there's this little start away, start away? Straight away. It's been a while since I've used words, guys, okay? I haven't been in public much. And then we start going downhill. And this doesn't look steep, but look at all the chatter that you see in my arms. It doesn't help that you are witnessing, like, the virgin off-road ride that I have done since October. So <laughs> I'm going a bit slow. I'm a bit nervous. I have not really been riding the cyclocross bike. Uh, Again, look at all these Walmart banners, man. Where did they get these printed? Kinko's? Does Walmart do printing? I don't know. It's crazy. But as you know, or maybe don't know, uh, Bentonville, which is just north of Fayetteville, is the home of Walmart. So they're a big sponsor of the event. Uh, So this right-hand turn up this little chute took me by surprise. I did not carry momentum into it. It was not there for the World Cup. I don't think it was there for the World Cup. Uh, and I'm being hesitant not just because this is my first time (laughs) off-road since suffering my concussion and quitting my season, but the ground is also going from really hard to just strangely slick, and I'm on mid-tires here, and they don't have the best amount of traction uh, in these type of, like, lateral slip environments, so (laughs) it's, like, kind of sneak attack on what's going to be slippery, and since this is my first lap on this course, I'm just being a little bit careful, and, like, this turn, you see up uh, just a little, little shift to the right there as it was slick, uh, anyways, so you noticed there was a little bit of a climb there after that punch, and we are going downhill again. I am not normally one to complain about going downhill, but when it's the first thing in the lap and I am afraid to be riding near other people, it's a terrifying thing. So I'm setting up really wide for this turn here. You would think for the turn, but no, I literally just wanted the duchies to go by. Because if there's one thing I don't want, it's duchies riding my ass on this descent when I'm just like, ooh, sorry guys, I'm new to mud, ooh, what's this like? Uh, But actually, like, I'm sure they've done 87 laps already in the time it took me just to get from the start line to here. They've been lapping me. They're Dutch, after all. Uh, So all of these downhills that we're seeing here, they were in the World Cup. They were much more fun when they were sloppy mud. Now, again, a little bit tentative on them because it's going from really packed to slick, really packed and fast to slick. And we make that last right-hand turn, and then we just enter this slog. Why is this the heaviest section? And I'm complaining to these course guys. Like, this is the heaviest part of the course. This climb, it takes over a minute to complete. And I'm going from the left to the right. And I remember doing this in the World Cup race. One lap, I was actually with uh, Ellen Van Loy and a man on Bakker. And we were weaving back and forth trying to find hard ground. But it is just soggy. I don't know why the downhills can't be this way. The downhills are like, yeah, man, we've been pumping iron. We're rock hard. Let's go faster. And then the uphill was like, nah, like a soggy kitchen sponge that's never going to dry out. So this little right-hand turn and the climb keeps going up this little clay hump and it gets a little bit steeper and it just keeps going. So again, this climb for me, um, I'm trying to go as easy as I can. I ended up doing two laps on this pre-ride day. This first lap, I averaged... Uh, like 300 watts up the climb trying to go easy and then my next lap I think I stood up a couple times and so it brought my average to like 325 laps but again I'm not trying to be a hero right now (laughs) I am trying to freaking survive and I don't know why they don't give a tow rope or something do they understand that though this is the world championships like I am still a lazy ass like I don't want to be doing this I get it there's a hill I don't need to pre-ride it it's hard can we just skip this just looked at my watch to be like, seriously, this is still happening? In the insulting last punch, 
finally crest the hill and you get a little bit of relief. And I don't know what this little feature thing is, this flyover, but with the way they have those weird things off the side, it makes it look like it's going to be this sweet feature, but I actually think that's probably to keep people from throwing shit off the side onto us. Uh, so we're passing, this is pit one. We are five minutes into the lap and this is pit one right here. Don't mind me, just waving to the mechanics there, hanging out in the pit. Mechanics should always be your best friends, ladies and gentlemen. We make a left-hand turn after the pits, and why not freaking climb some more? Ugh. But then, at least, we get to go downhill. We're going to make a left-hand turn into an up de do Guys, we're finally back. up de do into a down de do Don't hit that freaking fencing. Climb back up the next up de do Back down. This is the Miller Lite up de do down de do section. We don't have Jupler here, but we got some Miller Lite. Pass me, little Belgian child. Don't let me hold you back. So not just because of the up de doos and downy doos but I really feel like this section of the course has a big Belgian vibe. Though the grass is not nearly as vibrant, again, we just have this sad sod. But it just has this, like, almost Essen industrial feel to it. I mean, minus the weird purpose-specific flyover we just went under. So a little muddy section, left-hand turn into our next up de doo Barely make this one. And then saddle to the camera and I almost run into the fencing because, you know, that's how I do things. I'm nearly running into fencing. And this section was pretty heavy in the World Cup. I don't know. They must have just forgot to put sod in that part. A uh, series of flat turns. Really the only flat turns on the course. I mean, usually cyclocross is all about the flat. The cyclocross in America is about flat grassy turns. But I think those are the only ones on this whole course. Other than that, it's just nice swooping turns or we're making, you know, up de do downy do turns or we're weaving through the woods. They really kind of did a good jo job with that. Uh, I guess technically this is a flat turn in, in grass. Uh, oh, shit. I think I'm, uh, we're about to do another flat turn in grass. This is a slight downhill, though. Definitely a slight downhill. A uh, random guy in the woods was cheering for me, so that's cool. Slick little corner here. We're missing a, f I say feature, like I'm using air quotes right now, but you can't see them, that was back in this section in the World Cup that was, we had to make a left-hand turn and sort of pump down a ditch. And it was, maybe it's a ditch that you see to the left here and it was more abrupt. Oh, mega feature here. This is some Fayetteville cobbles. It's just slabs of rock. I don't know what the purpose is. Uh, but that little, the turn through the ditch was actually quite difficult. <laughs> so I'm glad that it's gone because on the muddy course, it was actually so pretty good. We need to go around for free ride. Yep, this is me complaining that a hard part is coming up. These freaking stairs, man. I don't know how many there are. Hi, Megalee. Right, can I give her bunny ears for it? <laughs> yeah, seriously. We, we don't need this many stairs. Oh, God. Bye. We don't need it. We're not Hoover Hyde. Like, I guess, what, otherwise you would make us run up this? But this is a man-made hill. We do Like, you could just not have this. There's no reason for this. We don't like this. No, no cyclocross racer is like, you know what that course needed? It needed more stairs. Also, why is this kid running up these stairs? Oh, jeez. Now we go into this downhill plunge. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. Really easy turn, smooth downhill. And then you probably notice a lot of people get air off of that little jump there, but Vekas are a ground dwelling creature. We don't jump things. <laughs> Largely because if we do, it means we're going to like go ass over tea kettle or end up rolling a tire or doing something super embarrassing. So I actually do drag my brakes going into that just to make sure I'm going the speed uh, that I don't leave the ground and I pump it just in case like I I don't want to leave the ground guys I have no glory to gain. I only have pride to lose when I eat shit on the other side. I Think somebody can hear me on the outside of this hotel room. And it's like what are you doing? Also? I don't remember this hill being here. Oh Is this the top of that flyover thing? Guys, the course looks so different when you're on it versus when you're looking at it. I don't know. We may have just gone over that like man-made flyover. I don't remember that in the World Cup at all. Uh, so we're going to turn here. We are going by pit two and we're now at, gosh, we're almost at 10 minutes into the lap, uh, but we're soon to end the lap. And I actually do end up stopping here. I go into the exit of the pit 
uh, and I changed, I just dropped my tire pressure a little bit because it is so bouncy and so slick that the lower pr tire pressure helps with the bounce, helps get a little bit more traction, but I still need enough tire pressure to not pinch flat. Because early on in that lap, I could have mentioned them, but I was just so excited to be talking to you guys, I forgot it. Uh, this top part, pretty clear. It's mostly just grass, but because this is all man-made stuff, so they probably just built it up and filled it with dirt. But I think off of the start, it's pretty natural, and uh, a lot of hidden rocks in there. So I hope I don't flat because I'm using all of Carrie's wheels. Sorry, Carrie. So we just spiraled up this little man-made mound, and now we're spiraling back down. Uh, it's something that even on the downhill you pedal this nice banked turn. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think there's a speed limit. I mean, there is for me because I'm not very fast, so I just go slow. Um, but I would like to know people who can just like pedal all out if speed is something that they need to worry about there, because sometimes there are speed limits. Uh, if you notice, there was a guy on the side there that was it's dancing, trying to make me there. laugh, and I'm just trying to draft off this little Belgian kid. Uh, I'm going to go in for a second lap, but I'm not going to take you with me. I was hoping that I could do like a little bit of side cutting of like if I rode things better the second time around, but turns out I didn't. <laughs> I like tried harder and did worse. So <laughs> that's it. I'm just going to leave you with that. This is going to be my last race of the season and might be the last race I do a voiceover. So I don't know. I guess save this one in your queue and spend time with me whenever you need. Okay, bye.